Uh, you thought you were getting off easy with 7a. Here we go, 7b. It says, consider the terms, u sub n, of this sequence such that n is less than or equal to k. So we just found k up there, so I'm going to put it in here just so we have a good idea of what we're looking at. Okay. Let f be the sum of the terms for which n is not a multiple of 3. Show that f is equal to 3,240. So what this is basically saying is, look at the first 300 terms, right? n is less than or equal to 300. And let's find out who is not a multiple of 3. Then we're going to add all those together to find f. f should be 3,240 if we're right. Okay, I'm going to examine what's happening here. I'm going to put these in the table because I feel like they're going to be, there's going to be a lot. So I'm not going to do my little dashes. I'm just going to put it in a table. So I've got the first term is 1.3. They gave that to us up top. And then the common difference is plus 0 0.1. So to get to the second term, I've got this going on. Okay. Um, One point ten. Hello. <laughs> All right. So I've got a common difference of plus zero point one. So that looks great. Um, I'm trying to find the multiples of three. So it in the use of n, the terms that are a multiple of three. So um, one point three divided by three isn't going to give me a nice number. One point four divided by three is not going to give me a nice number. This will. Um, I'm going to keep going down and investigating. Okay, 1.8 divided by 3 is going to give me a nice number. And finally, 2.1 divided by 3 is going to give me a nice number. So there's not really a clear pattern of like what's going to give me a nice number as far as the not multiples of 3 go. But I do have a pretty nice pattern for the multiples of 3. So I'm going to work with that because... I'm working with what I got. So to get from 1.5 to 1.8, I'm going to add plus 0 0.3. It was 0 0.3. And then to get from 1.8 to 2.1, I'm going to add 0 0.3. Okay, so now I'm going to write myself a new sequence. And these are the multiples of 3. So I'm going to label him the multiples of 3. Okay, because this has a clear pattern and like I can work with this. So my new sequence is going to have u sub n is equal to, what's the first term that was a multiple of 3? 1.5 plus, and then I have my clear pattern to get from one multiple of 3 to the other, which is plus 0 0.3 and n minus 1. Okay, so now I'm trying to find the sum of all these guys up to and including the 300th term. All right. So I have S sub n is equal to n over 2 times 2 u sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. Okay. So if I'm only taking every third term, I'm only going to be having 100 terms in this sequence, right? The original sequence, including all the multiples and non-multiples of 3, had 300 terms in it. If I'm only taking every third term, I'm only going to have 100 terms in my new sequence where I'm only considering the multiples of 3. So my new n is going to be one hundred. Okay, so I'm going to substitute that in. And then the first term of the new sequence is going to be 1.5. And then my n is 100 minus 1 times the common difference of 0.3. Okay, so I would type that into my calculator. Um, I'm not going to waste your time typing it into your calculator. Or actually, I am because I don't have it written down. Great. <laughs> so I got 100 divided by 2 times 2 times 1.5 plus, and then this is just going to be 99 times 0 0.3. All right, I got 1635, so 
the sum of all the multiples of 3 is going to be, what was it? 1635. Okay, cool. So if I take the sum of all 300 and I subtract off the sum of the multiples of 3, I should be left with the sum of all the non-multiples of 3. Let me write that out for you. Okay, so if I take all 300 and I sum them together, and then I subtract off the 100 that were multiples of 3, I sh I'm going to label that multiple of 3, I should be left with the sum of all the not multiples of 3. All right, so the sum of the first 300 terms, I think they gave it to us. Where was it? Do, 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 do the sum of the first 300 terms. I think I found it, right? Yes, I did up top. Okay, the sum of the first 300 terms right here. That was 4,875. So I've got 4,875. And I'm going to subtract off the sum of all the multiples of 3, which was 1635. And I should be left with the sum of all the non-multiples of 3. So I'm just going to do that. 4875 minus 1635. 3240, yay, that's what I was trying to prove. What a beautiful thing. All right, great. So sometimes at the end of a mathematical proof, we write QED, and we'll go over that in 1.5.